This is a Mopeka water tank monitor, which is a fairly new product. It is intended for use with fresh and gray water tanks, but not recommended for black water tanks. Well, we're going to try it anyway on the black water tank and see what happens. I was on the Mopeka website the other day and I noticed that they had a fairly new product. And this is called the Mopeka Pro Water Sensor. And it's designed to monitor fresh and gray water tanks. And this was around $60 to $70, somewhere in that range. And I figured, you know what? This is what the RV industry needs because the holding tank monitors, as you know, if you have one, just do not work. And yeah, you can use the geo method, you can clean it out, whatever, but that's just a temporary fix. If it'll fix it at all, it's going to fail again. Fact is, they're just a bad design. I'm thinking, man, if we can do a tank for $70 a tank and it Bluetooth to an application, problem solved. So I bought one. Well, <laughs> when I received it and downloaded the instructions, note for black water or otherwise contaminated water. That don't make sense. I think what they mean to say is not for black water or otherwise heavily contaminated water. Well, that's unfortunate. Here I thought we found a solution finally to the tank monitor problem. And it is a partial solution because it will monitor the fresh water in the gray tanks. But the black tank is a problematic one in your RV, not necessarily the gray or the fresh water tank. Your tank monitor system in your RV, you could have the same disclaimer not for black water or contaminated water. So I'm going to try it anyway. What can it hurt? I already purchased it. I'm not going to return it. And either it's going to work or it's not going to work. And certainly if it works at all, it's going to be better than what we have with the monitors that are currently in the RV. This is battery powered and this cage goes on the tank itself and you have to pop the cage off with a screwdriver. This has got uh, 3M VHB and that goes on the tank. This goes in there and then you snap the cover on here. Well the problem is anytime you need to reset it or need to change the battery, which maybe once a year, that's kind of a pain. Especially with many of the modern day RVs, they have a coroplast bottom because they're a full season RV and then they have a heater that heats the bottom of the RV. You may have to open up the bottom of the RV every year just to change the battery in the sensor. On the other hand, you do not have to wire power to the sensors, so that is an advantage in itself. And I will show you how I get around having to remove the coroplast to change the batteries. And we've launched a Mopeka app, and we're going to sync the water sensor. And you do that by holding the sink down. There we go. And we want to check for firmware before we do anything. Okay, there is a new version, so we'll do the upgrade. Okay, looks like we've upgraded. Maybe that'll make it work with a black tank, who knows. Next, we need to dial in the tank height, along with any other parameters that we may want to change. Note that the tank height can only be set in full inches. When I try to put 5.5 .5 inches in, it defaults to 6 inches. So just be aware of that. Also, if you did not notice, it uses the same Opica app for the water monitor as it does for the LP tank monitor. I've opened up the coral class bottom of the RV. I've located the area of the sensor on the black tank bottom. Then cleaned the bottom and applied the alcohol prep pad included with the kit according to the instructions. I then marked the location of the sensor on the tank. The instructions also state to keep the sensor at least 3 inches from any edge of the tank, which I have done. Also included in the kit is a tube of 3M Primer 94, which must be applied to the tank at the sensor location. This further prepares the tank for the attachment of the sensor basket. The basket ring that we will install has VHB tape on the back. I'm not going to be able to hold the camera while I do this step, so you'll have to wait until I finish before I continue the video. I simply attached the ring to the tank bottom and pressed down on it for a few seconds. I will now have to wait about 30 minutes before continuing to allow the tape to set. 
The next step is to liberally apply the included ultrasonic transmission gel to the sensor bottom. This aids in the transmission of the ultrasonic signal. And again, through the magic of editing, as well as not being able to hold on to the camera, I've set the transducer in place and then snapped the basket over it. When you do this, be sure that the vent as well as the programming button is not obstructed. At this point, I've reattached the coroplast, and the sensor is located about here. If I decide to make this permanent, I will drill a 6 inch hole in the bottom of the coroplast and attach a bolt deck plate, which will allow future access to the sensor without having to remove the coroplast. To test the accuracy of the sensor on the black tank, I compared the readings to my sea level tank monitor system, which is fairly accurate. The black tank was put into normal operation, that is, with the normal amount of solids and tissue you would likely use for a period of a week. And the results were that for about the first 20% of the tank contents, the sensor read low. Then, at around 29% of fill, as measured by the sea level gauge, the Mopeka sensor read 34%. And at the 50% full mark, the Mopeka sensor read 47%. So on one hand, it does seem that the Mopeka sensor is not quite linear, at least in comparison to the seal of a monitor, but it actually did work. And by gosh, it is at least much better than the OEM type sensors, which we know don't work. Unfortunately, I was only able to do the test to 50% full since this was the last camping trip of the season. While I'm not quite ready to make a recommendation, I am encouraged by the initial results. But well, what the heck, if you decide to test this system out, please provide feedback in the comment section below as more testing is better. I will test the Mopeka system more in the future and report back additional findings in a new video. One issue I saw was the Mopeka monitor provides an indication when the tank is low, like you should have for a water tank. However, there is no provision to reverse this, that is, to provide a high tank notification, which is what you'd want in a holding tank. Perhaps Mopeka will provide an update to their app in the future to remedy this. Finally, please visit the link I'm providing here for my project webpage, which provides additional information about this project. Visit rv-project.com.